Christmas is coming. The snowflakes will be falling. It's the most wonderful time of year. So hang up your stockings, put the tinsel on the tree, because Christmas is coming, my dear. It's the only time of year the reindeer fly. You can't see them on their sleigh ride across the sky. Gather all your family round, or go out and paint the town. It's the only time of year the whole wide world turns upside down. So baby, light a fire, and we'll toast the night away, because Christmas is coming our way. Welcome speed daters! Here at City Speed Dating, we have an impressive record of 100 marriages. So the odds are in your favor. So this is where the elite come to meet. Are you ready? Set? Go! Do you have uh, any credit cards? One. I don't know, I feel like I just can't stop getting them. You know, like first it was the gold, then it was the platinum. And now if you really want to be a real baller and get into the best clubs, it's all about the baby blue. And now, now it's about the red. Like, I don't know, it's like I just, I can't stop collecting them. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like I'm addicted to the plastic, you know? Oh, oh. And you manage that all. Yeah, I mean, you know, I just kind of keep open them. I don't really look at anything, you know? It's, mm -hmm. it's fine. You said, so you said you had one? One, yeah. Really? You really should. You know, well, go put a few more, you know, expand your horizons. No, I, I don't know. I, I, I try to keep on top of things. Yeah, well, that's great. I can open one in my name if you'd like. That'd help you out. Oh, that's not necessary. Yeah, nice guy. My friends always say, hey, you're the nicest guy, you know? Thanks. Yeah, I've opened up so many in my friends' names. So, I mean, if you, my name for my friends. So, if you want one, I can totally help you out. I, I'm all set for now, thanks. Really? For now? Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. So, you, do you live in the area? I do, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Or close or far? Or? Pretty close. Yeah. Apartment, yeah. condo, house? Condo. Condo, very cool. Roommates? Mm -hmm. yes. oh. My aunt. Your aunt? Okay, very cool. I love my mom and dad and dogs. Quiz! Thanks. It's lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good night. Enjoy your condo. Thank you, Kyle. Get ready, set, go! All right, we got two minutes, so let's get down to it. How tall are you? I beg your pardon? I'm pretty tall. I'm 5'10", but you look like you're, you know, Jack and the Beanstalk kind of tall. So, like, it's not, not a bad thing. Not necessarily. I'm looking to have big old babies. Big, tall babies. Mm -hmm. Basketball players, you know, stretch Armstrong kind of babies. Mm -hmm. Natural leaders. You know? How big yep. are your feet? Look like you got big old meaty clumpers there. Good sized feet. Oh. Great. Good for running, I like that. Sporty babies is what I'm looking for. You ever been to Norway? Big old babies, big square, big old melon head. That's what I'm looking for. You haven't been to Norway? The fjords are breathtaking. That's what Norway does, fjords and fish and other kinds of fish. Beautiful place. Oh, oh. Yeah. So here's the thing. Why don't we get out of here? We go test our DNA. Make sure there's no diseases, make sure we're not cousins. You know, with that profile, though, not necessarily a deal breaker. <laughs> get daddy DNA, get mommy DNA, see how that blends together. I'm thinking two, three babies right off the bat. Three. Three, yeah. Big old, like, all together, triplets. I can make it happen. I've been testing. Mm-hmm. Willpower. It's all about willpower and believing in yourself. I read this book on it. It's called The Secret. You probably haven't heard of it. Um, but it tells you, like, you can manifest whatever you want. That's why I'm here tonight. I was like, I need to meet people. And I'm like, speed dating manifested. This is your first time, I'm assuming. No, no, I'm here all the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been going great. I meet a lot of people, get a lot of different numbers. Um, you know, no one ever calls back, but it's, you know, it's a hit and miss sort of game. I you can just imagine. jump right in the deep end. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 
So, let's do it. Ready, set, go. So, what if I was to tell you that aliens exist and they actually live among us? Ready, set, go. So uh, a little bit about me. Um, well, for a while I was working as a corporate attorney, but it just was really just not the right fit for me. So I left all that behind, and uh, now I'm working on what's sort of my passion in life, which is saving the ocean. Um, it definitely does not pay as well as the lawyer gig, but uh, I love it, and honestly, I sleep like a baby every night now, just knowing I'm one of the good guys. You know? Wow, that's amazing. I just got into the corporate world, but I already want out. <laughs> Sure. Honestly, I think everyone should just follow their passion in life and... Seriously? This is what you're doing right now? Hi! Who are you? Did you know? Did you know that he had a wife? Did you know he told me he was going out for formula? No, I, I was, okay? I was. I stopped in here for a Coke, and they asked me if I would stand in because they needed more men. Oh, so you consider yourself a man? <laughs> we live in my parents' basement so that you can finish massage school. It's a, it's a nice basement. Oh my god, I'll see you at home. My parents' home. Uh, sorry, everyone. Just a little mix-up. Uh... I think I'm just gonna focus on my career for a while. I swear there's millions of guys and I only meet the ones with really serious baggage or who just want to hang out like we're still in college. Careful, it's hot. Well, I still don't see why you don't give church a try. Or I have met some really nice guys on Alaskan cruises. Or there's always bingo. <laughs> it's not bad, but not really a bingo or cruise gal yet. Oh, because the speed dating is working out so Anyways. well for you. I gotta get to sleep. Big Bear is having his biggest end of the year meeting tomorrow, so <laughs> gotta look cheery. Good night. Good night. And I'm bringing my cocoa with me.
Looks like I'm not the only one who decided to come in early. My aunt taught me that early is on time and on time is late. That's funny. My dad did the exact same thing. Is your dad in business too? No, he died about a year and a half ago though. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's fine. Heart attack. What are you gonna do? You know, I think I've seen you around the office before. How long have you been working here? Not too long. A couple months. Now, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. I'm specifically this meeting. I feel like I live here at this point. I think that this might be my first meeting this time of year, so. Okay. I mean, are you the only woman who works here, too? Unfortunately, I think that's the case, yeah. Well, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, on. I mean, apparently you've worked hard to get here. I'd like to think I did. I mean, if there's one thing my dad taught me, it's the fact that hard work, it always pays off. And it'll always get you places you want to be. And considering you are the only woman here, I think that's true. Thank you. No problem. I should probably get going before the boss chews my ear out. We don't want that. No. I'm Todd, by the way. Noel. Well, Noel, I guess I'll be seeing you around. Or at least in the next couple of hours. That's true. You're late! Sorry, sir. Sorry, Mr. Dillard. Muck. Did you watch the junior for me today? Uh, pick a card, any card. Huh. I wish my first two wives were Russian. They still spend all your money, but huh, at least no conversation. So it's been a pretty good year, I'd say. Some of you more than others. Todd, will you ask Junior to scram while we talk adult business? And I've got some good news and bad news for all of you. The casino deal is on track to be our biggest yet. That's the good news. Todd, get up there. Not it, sir. Well, hola cloth. Unveiling Santa's sleigh and reindeer casino and resort. <laughs> the artist's rendering came in today. This is guaranteed to be hot all year long. You like it? Good. Because the bad news is there's one holdout on the land. Same guy and his grandson. The tree farm. Todd? For the last several months, these two have refused many generous offers that our company has made. Apparently, they think that selling spruce and Fraser trees is more noble than gaining high six figures. So what we need now is a mole, better yet a spy, to go in there and convince these people to sell to someone they think will preserve their precious trees. So we've set up a fake charity. It's called the Green Place. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome, Barry. But we need the perfect face they'll trust. And if you don't know what failure looks like, remember Anil, <laughs> who I sent out there this summer with an all-cash offer. <laughs> Hi, Anil. Now you don't want to end up like Anil, right? You. Me? Yes, you. We need somebody who looks like they're a tree hugger for this closing. But, sir, I just do end up your accounting. Well, if you want to be doing the same thing next year and not end up helping Anil with the cash receipts in a different way, then you'll think about getting on this and cashing that sizable commission and bonus that goes with it. <laughs> oh. Todd, why didn't you tell me that I have golf in 25 minutes? Well, I thought this meeting was more important. You really are a dipstick. All right, the rest of you Philistines can leave here. You, Todd, stick around with them. Um, um. It's Noel. 
Yeah, yeah, with her. And give her the rundown. And that she'll be staying with Christine. Well, that ought to be a treat. Look, I'm really sorry about how today played out. I don't know what his problem is. This, this plan makes no sense. And I'm pretty sure it goes against a couple of different laws. Well, unfortunately, Barry doesn't really do the law thing. He never has. He's... Well, unless he's going to hire a couple of lawyers. Which he does to clean up his messes so they can take care of it during the aftermath. He's got a system in place. It's old school, but I mean... So are the idiot senators who's playing golf with right now. Do you really think if I say no, I'll lose my job? Yeah. And if you complain, it's only going to make things worse. You want my advice, and well, just enjoy your time out there. I hear the city's particularly beautiful this time of year. Just do the job, collect the bonus, and pay off your condo or buy a new one. Just do yourself a favor and don't double cross Barry. Fine. Fine. Yeah. You know, there actually was one other thing I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, what's up? Obviously, I've noticed you're in the office. Obviously, you're working yourself to a bone here, pretty much. Why don't you let me do the gentleman thing? Let me take you downtown for a couple of drinks. And then, wherever you call home, I'll bring you back there. It's not as if you haven't deserved it. Best thing is, is I've got the boss's ear to my chest pretty much the entire time. And if you let me do this one thing, let me take you out. I can guarantee that your career goes places you haven't even thought of yet. Look, you seem like a nice guy, Todd, but I don't think you're quite my type. And what type is that exactly? I'll let you know when I figure it out. Leave these guys. Hey, it would have been even worse in my day. That Barry would have been even ruder. And that other guy? You just need to judo kick him down the hall and out the front door. Is that why you signed me up for karate at age six? <laughs> Darn right. <laughs> hey, you're gonna be back in time for the Eddie Valley concert on the 23rd, right? We're planning on having a town council meeting that day to finalize the deal, if we can get the tree farmers on board. So, I might have to wait until next year. Well, you'll have a good time. Do you remember I used to take you there when you were little? Yeah, I do. <laughs> do, you, do you remember that time that you got chased by the ducks? You were terrified, and that little boy had to rescue you. Oh, please don't remind me. <laughs> well, if I can find my driving glasses, I will take you to the airport in the morning. That's all right. I'll grab an Uber. All right. Good night.
You must be Noel. Welcome. I wish it were snow. So how is Barry? Is he still big a jerk as ever and dating the Russian gold digger? Uh, I don't really know him that well. <laughs> you seem like a nice girl. As so was I when I went to work for Barry. But watch out for him, Noel. He is such a snake. And the only reason that I am letting you stay here and do whatever it is that you and he are up to is because it was in the settlement. How is um, Anil? You know, we started off together at Diamond. We were really good friends until, is he still King Suck Up over there? I, I'm really, really sorry, but I do have to make a few calls before I get into town. Of course, I understand. I will show you to your room and get you settled and we'll catch up later. No, not yet. <sighs> I'm afraid of ducks. No, not yet. He's cutting down a tree. I'm not gonna talk to him while he's cutting down a tree. Just, hold on, he's almost done. Excuse me. Hi. How can we help you? I'm here to discuss buying your property. Is there a place where we can talk? You're a little forward. What's your name? Noel. I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I mean, Gramps' office in the back is pretty quiet. If you really want to talk. Yes, please. Follow me. Hello. Hey. hey Jack. How's it going? Graham. Good to see you. Good to see you. And who's that? I'm Noel. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Noel is a real estate agent. She's with Green Place. Green Place. And what's Green Place? We're mostly local to New England. We're trying to keep a nature reserve kind of feel to most of the work we're doing in the area. And we're interested in your farm. It's a lovely place. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, funny story, Noel. Gramp used to be a professional wrestler, the lumberjack. <laughs> it was a long time ago, back before I grew my hair and kind of started wearing farm clothes. And, uh, but it's a, it was fun for a while, but it's a tough profession. And you're constantly on the move, and you can't always trust you know, the people that you work with, my promoter kind of drove me out of it. And, but it was all for the good because I bought this place and been selling Christmas trees and loving it ever since. That's great. So tell me more. Well, like I said, we do want to keep the place the way it is as much as possible. We're interested in, like I said, nature reserves, you know, local animal life and mostly making money off of tourists that already come to the area. Well, at least you want to keep the farm the same, that's for sure. Well, Noel, how about you give us just like one second yeah. and uh, I'll, I'll come back and talk to you, okay? Well, most everybody else we've got who wants to tear the place down and put buildings up, so that's promising. Yeah, she sounds like she wants to keep it the same, but I don't know. You can't trust all these real estate yeah, people, Graham. You better watch yourself. Um, but uh, I'd be interested in hearing more. We can do a little checking around and 
And, but ultimately, the decision is yours. I mean, we've set you up so that you've got control over the farm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, this could be a way for us to get out of this. I know I've been doing this for almost 40 years now. Yeah. And I know that you do it more of an obligation than, than you wanting to take over the farm. But I, I do be, love the farm, Grant. I know. Yeah. I know. But, but it could be a way to, you know, do something start over, do something different. Yeah. I just want someone to take care of the place yeah. and take yeah, care of us. I agree. Well, why don't you show her around? Show her around? Town, the farm, like the farm, everything? Yeah. Okay. Show her around, talk to her some more, get some more information, and we'll talk more, and then go from there. make a, an informed decision. <laughs> All right. Okay. All I love right. you, Grant. Love you, too. Take care. All right, Noel. You've done it. You've piqued my interest. I like that you want to keep this place the same. So, I'm going to show you around. And I'll show you around the town too, because if they're going to really buy this place off of Grandpa and I, I want someone who's going to invest. And I'm not just talking financially, I'm talking with the heart into this town, into this place. Deal? Deal. All right, let's go. How's she doing? She's made contact, sir. Did we pick the right pony? Well, she's gone farther than most. Mm. We just need to give her a chance. Well, in the meantime, it's time to call in some favors. Oh, let's see here. Oh, damn. Right there, I can do this and this and this and clean. Hello, Mr. Mayor. I think you know who this is. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mr. Diamond. Yeah, tell me, what can we do for each other? So, tell me about yourself. What do you like? I like things. Do you have anything specific? Well, what do you like for music? Oh, Eddie Valley. Eddie Valley. He's a nice guy. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Holly. Good. It's so good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you. Who's your uh, friend? Uh, this is Noel. Noel. Nice yep. to meet you. This is Holly. You must be a city girl. She's a real estate agent. We're just showing her around the town. I didn't yeah. know you were into liberal ladies. So you're showing her down east. Isn't it beautiful? Good. Well, uh, you two enjoy the day. Have you been? Good? Yeah, we've been good. See you around. Call me. That's my ex. No. Uh, she's not exactly over you, is she? No, she's not. Not at all. Yeah, it's... Really cold by the water, I'm sure you can imagine. I don't, I don't know why he asked me to meet him here. But yeah, he said if he's going to think about selling his property to me, he wants me to invest in the heart of the town, so... Yeah, he's a nice guy. And are you being honest with him about all of this? No, no, I, I don't like it, but... I can't afford to lose this job, especially if I'm going to pay for your classes next semester. My classes. No, you are don't worry about that. Important in this. I I can do this. Hey, Aunt Beth, remember we were talking about that kid who saved me from the ducks when I was little? <laughs> of course, I remember. Yeah, do you remember his name? Oh, oh, it it was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. There's now, no, give me a no hurry about it, just whenever you think oh. of it, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I see him. All right, I'll call you later. Love okay, you. Bye.
Extravaganza. And to close out the night, we have a very special guest for you. I think you're going to be very excited when you see this man come out on stage. Come on down, all the way from New York City, ladies and gentlemen. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost looking at your nose. Yuletide cows being sung by a choir. And folks dressed up like oh Eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe helps to make this season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. Lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know So I'm offering this simple frame To kids from one to one or two Though it's been said many times many ways Merry Christmas to you I like this band Gotta hire them up I can't even get my guys out of bed And it's a Merry Christmas, folks. Treat each other well. There's no other way. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from one to 102. Although it's been said Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to friend mm, what a beautiful girl beautiful girls break hearts don't be breaking this guy so i don't know since we're 10 100 loyal god bless you guys you guys i gotta run i got a gig in the city four hours my pilot military guy if i don't show up he takes off without me oh. you know that's the kind of deal i gotta go god bless you guys merry christmas thank you best to your grandfather yeah. all the best you guys. merry christmas eddie happy new year Good to see you How did he's been coming to my family farm for years to get his tree cut. What, what can I say? We do a good job. <laughs> he's not the only celebrity that comes and gets his tree cut, so shh. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you liked it. So, uh, 
So would you ever do karaoke? Uh, I'm not, not courageous enough for that. Yeah, it does take a lot of courage to get up there. You know what else yeah. takes some courage? Wrestling. Can take down trees, but can you take down a wrestler? Uh. I can't believe you're actually doing this. You've kind of inspired me to chase my dreams at this point. You know, with your with your law degree, environmental law. Now you're doing great things at Green Place. It's inspiring. Jack, about Green Place. And Noelle, I, I gotta say one thing. I've, I've been doing a lot of thinking and I am gonna sign the contract. Only if you are in charge of the deal and you close the deal. Wait, oh, I kidding. please. The boss will see you now. <laughs> That's us. Uh, uh, no, I'm just here for morals. Tryouts are not for spectators. Participants only, little lady. <laughs> Javon. Hold on, where are you going? What's going on? I'm not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. Gleason is the promoter. Yeah. Gleason is the guy who screwed my grandfather out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. He's a crook. I know, I know, but, but this isn't about him. It's about you and, and chasing your dreams. You just said that. You really gonna let him mess it up? Let's talk to him and see what happens, okay? So, uh, you're uh, Chris the Lumberjack Carlson's offspring, huh? Yeah, he's my grandfather. You know, he was a royal pain in the ass. Like, never wanted to play the game. Like, he was, had too much integrity for this business or something. Tough son of a gun, though. Did you know he could, like, bend nails like they were just rubber? My grandfather's physical strength was only matched probably by his integral strength. Last I heard, though, he was like, um... Christmas tree farmer or something on the outskirts of town. Yeah, him and I own a farm outside the town. You know you're here? No. Look, if you want to try out kids, that's fine. But we're not going to cut you any breaks just because you're his grandkid. Well, Mr. Gleason, with all due respect, I'm not looking for any special treatment. I'm just looking for an opportunity. Hmm. A shot. What about you, sweetheart? You know, we could use a little eye candy around here. And uh, for what I'm seeing... You're just about sweet enough for me. Gleason, we're not here for any funny business. We're here to wrestle. I'm just here for Jack, but if that means I have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of your guys, then I'm all for it. <laughs> Big talk. I love that. Look, uh, what are you two waiting for? Why don't you go ahead and get out there and see what happens? Mr. Mayor, it's Gleason. You're not gonna believe who just walked in here. You know that uh, tree farmer kid you've been talking about? <laughs> yeah, him and his girlfriend. Uh huh. Sure. My guys can show them the ropes. <laughs> yeah, I get what you meant about Gleason. He's jerk. Yeah, well, you're gonna go ahead and do it anyway and take a shot. Good. Don't sound very enthusiastic about it. Oh yeah, this is a glorious day. I know it'll cheer you up. Cheer you up tonight. Oh, my aunt plays this song for me when and I'm not your aunt on a I'm not gonna put no, I'm just taking a page out of her book. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You feel like heaven to touch. I wanna hold you so much. At long last, love has arrived. And I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. To warm the lonely night, I love you, baby. Trust in me when I say. Did it work? That was something. <laughs> that was something. But you did put a smile on my face. Too. Okay, then uh, I'll count as success. Well, Lovecraft, Mr. Gleason's looking for some talent. Sadly, I don't see any. What you got for me today? Oh, some fresh meat for the grinder, boss. <laughs> All right, listen up, you lovely band of losers. This is pro wrestling. Never come here. You're my best. You stand here. I need you. Y'all better be paying attention. This is not for the weak of heart. Maverick, you ready to put him through the ringer? Oh, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> See the two over there? Yes, sir. I think they need to be put through some special treatment. You think oh, you could do that for me? I love the idea of special treatment. Good kid. Good kid. Okay. All right, kid. Show me something special and not be wasting my time. Think she's special. Show her how special she isn't. Oh, with pleasure, boss. With pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little lady. Come on, you're just a little lady. Just get out of the ring. And... Oh. Oh. I'm just so happy that Big Barry isn't going to get this land. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, what are you doing tomorrow night? It's Christine's party. Oh, well, maybe we can go together and we can celebrate. Like a date? Yeah, like a date. Okay. Yeah, I'd like that. All right. See you then. Yeah, Barry, I got them to sign, but I don't think I'm comfortable with this deal. I don't know. I Look, my aunt's calling. I'll call you back. I'll call you back.
I don't like how this thing is going. You told me this woman was malleable. You're on the hook if this thing goes south. Look, there's a solution you haven't really thought about yet. I've still got some loose ends to take care of in that city. Send me, and I'll report back to you. Well, this thing isn't going to take care of itself. Either you get her on board, or get her off the boat. In a few days, we'll either have board approval, or this thing will go down the crapper. Not the crapper, not this time. I've already got my ticket for the first flight tomorrow morning. Just let me go and do my job. Is there something wrong with the crapper? Goodbye, Anil. Hey, honey. Hey, Aunt Beth. What's up? I was just washing dishes and it came to me. The, the name of that little boy? Yeah, what was his name? It was Jack. You know, like Jack and Jill? I, I really messed up. I gotta fix this. Fix it how? I'll tell Jack the truth. I I just think I'm going to talk to Christine first. Maybe she'll be able to help me. It's going to be okay, honey. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. Do you like any sport? Oh, wow. Can't say I was expecting to see you here. Not this soon, anyway. What? I'm surprised they're here at all. Heck yeah. Well, surprises every day, right? And you must be. I'm Jack. Todd, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice Jack. Nice to you came in. Well, thank you. You know, it's funny. Noel here can't seem to stop talking about you down at the office. Oh, I, I didn't realize I was a topic of conversation. Yeah, we're co-workers at Green Place. Oh, yeah. nice. Somebody's got to be a secret Santa every year. Oh, this is Grant. I just got to make sure he's all right. I'll be right back. Yeah. What are you doing here? It's not me. It's Barry. He doesn't think that you're capable of doing your job. I trust you, but look, that's the reason I'm here. Now, do you have the paperwork on the Todd, you can help me with this. Yeah. I've got people. Look. The deal. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't. He doesn't work like that. You know that. The fact of the matter is, we've got copies of the paperwork, so it doesn't matter. What matters is we need the signature on paper. Can't do this. Look, you, good people. you can't do this, and we both know Barry doesn't care about the law. So whether you want to do it or not, he's gonna find a way to do it. Well, can you do anything at the town meeting without my signatures? No, no, I really, really can't. Whether you want this deal to happen or not, I need those signatures. And the fact of the matter is, Noel, they might be good people, but they don't want anything for themselves. They don't want a better future. We've tried. I've told you, we have tried time and time again to help them financially. Whether they would have to give up the farm or not is not important. What's important is giving them the money, building this casino would be good for the entire economy of this place. But nobody wants that. Nobody wants a better future for their schools, for their kids, for home, nothing. The fact is, I know you're smarter than that. I will do what I need to do to make sure that this goes through. Like I said, he might be a good guy, but he's not smart and he doesn't know what's good for you. And he doesn't know what is good for himself or a future. And I for, know for a fact, you want a future. Well, and it you- doesn't matter if I want a future with you or with him. What matters is I know you are not getting the papers from me and you are not doing anything at that town city hall meeting. And a lot can happen between now and whenever you plan on doing something with those copies I gave you. I think you better go. You're right. A lot can happen. But what needs to happen, you need to buck up. You need to think about what you actually want.
I like how this place is decorated. It's pretty. Well, what's going on? Something's been on your mind since last night. Morning, Jack. Diane. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. It's good to see you. You too. Um, what are we doing this morning? You're doing your usual black coffee. Yes, please. What can I get for you? Coffee as well, please. Cream and sugar. Yeah. Okay, great. I'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. I need to tell you something. Okay. About Green Place. It's not real. What do you mean it's not real? I was sent undercover by Big Barry to get you guys to sell. Excuse me. Thank, Thank you very much. I'll be back for your order in a moment. Sorry, I should have told you sooner. So what about the option I signed? I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna get him to throw it out. <laughs> Big Barry's not gonna throw it out. He's been trying to get that property for years. Is he still trying to put his damn casino on it? Yes. Noelle, why did you lie to me? I was just trying to keep my job, but they're ruthless, and I see now how much this would impact you guys, and that's not who I am. What? A liar? You lied to me about this? Do you even take care of your aunt? Do you even like environmental law? What, did you lie about everything? No, I only lied about the job. I understand you're upset. Yeah, well, I'm upset, Noelle, because people like Big Barry come into this town and take the one thing that people have left, which is their dreams, and then they steal their property in the process. Are you folks ready to order? No, I'm not ready to order. I'm, I'm leaving. Excuse me, I'm sorry, Diane. No, Noelle? Yeah. Jack. Have a good day, Jack. Mayor, Merry Christmas. Yeah, same to you. Hey to Christopher. What's up with Jack? Oh, uh, this developer wants to build something there. Wants to put in this this it's family a big thing. Family? Yeah. You know, he's you know anyway he wants to invest money in the community, make a family friendly place with Jack and Christopher. You know, they ain't gonna sell it, digging in their feet. The old man, uh, I've been here for generations, kind of thing. It's too bad. She's having a bad day. She looks heartbroken. Yeah, she does. Huh. They can kiss this godforsaken town goodbye. Hey, Mrs. Claus, this one's for you. Tell me, sweet mama, what's a guy to do? I'm tired of pretending it's just you. So, I'm only Are you okay? I don't think so. 
Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I couldn't leave if you need the room. No, it's okay. What's going on? I came here with a company called Diamond Properties, and we've been trying to get Jack to sign over his grandfather's land, the Christmas tree farm, for a little while. The thing is, he hasn't been signing. But I hear that Noel actually got him to sign the papers. Really? Yeah. But it destroyed Jack. And I'm thinking he might just be so distraught right now. But you can go get him back if you want it. Okay. And if we need anything else, I've got a camera handy. All you gotta do is lead him over to some mistletoe. Easy enough. I'm thinking. We put this in place okay. with perfect timing. We'll have them both by New Year's. Sounds good to me. <laughs> well, why don't we get started? All right. Ladies first. I told him what happened. I'm, I'm going to fix it, but I just really ruined it. Yeah, well, it'll be fine. I've known Jack. He's, he's a good guy under me. Okay. Let me talk to him. I don't know. I, I think I just need to get some air. I'm sorry. who finally decided to show up. Of course I'm gonna show up. This is my hometown. Yeah, how does it feel to be a It's a bunch of idiots and losers and, well, I don't think I really need to say anything else. I don't know, how does it feel being around a bunch of dry clean wearing, pecking order little dudes like yourself? Good? Well, yeah, you know, it's much better than- Does it feel good stealing money? From people, you and Big Barry making your big casinos in poor down East Maine. You know, You're real something special, Todd. Yeah, I could say the same thing about you, but it's just very sad. You can't see the bigger picture here. Oh, and by the way, it's it's just so sad about what's going on with you and Noel. How's that, by the way? Oh, I bet you like that, don't you? I bet you do. Listen, I don't care what you like. You could like Coke, you could like Pepsi. I don't care what kind of little energy you're bringing back from your childhood or whatever. Look, this is my town, yeah, Todd. And that. I'm not gonna take any more of your crap. Okay. So the next time you speak to me, pick your words carefully. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, lumberjack. Hey, Jack, what's up? Hey, Christine. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's going on with you? What's about the thing with you and Todd? What's going on? Todd, will Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, you... I'm sure the... I'm sure the news is out at this point. Uh, Grandpa and I's farm is gone, bought up by Green Place. And now... I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point. It is not over. I promise you, don't give up. <laughs> okay, how long have you known me? Don't give up. Years. Okay. So, but what I need you to do, hold it together, okay? Like, chill. You can't, I don't want fights breaking out. You can't be doing all this. You need to just get a grip. All right? Trust me. Christine, it's over. It's not. It is. I signed the papers. It's over. Merry Christmas. Yeah, um, 
I told Jack the truth today and it's not going well. Hey Mrs. Claus, this one's for you. Tell me sweet mama what's a guy to do? I'm tired of pretending it's just who I am. Come on Mrs. Claus, let me be your man. Shave and wear a cap on my head By matching robes all shiny and red I'm begging you please I'll do all that I can Come on Mrs. Claus Let me be your man Never since I was a little You definitely earned your Christmas bonus this year <laughs> It was too easy And I'll scan the papers tonight Once I get into Christine's office I'll be sure to tell Noel she's terminated. Or, or maybe I'll wait until Christmas Day to tell it to her face. Or maybe I'll just put her under a kneel on toilet duty instead. Well, let's not be too hasty. I'm going to put the pics up on some social media too. So it really seals the deal for us. And I'll handle the town meeting tomorrow. Solo. I get these little fishies to take the bait. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got everything under control. Hey, Noelle, aren't you staying for the town meeting this afternoon? I, I'll still talk to Jack, too. No, I think the sooner I get home, the better it'll be for everybody. I should have never come here. I belong in the city, like Jack said, where I can just blend in. What if I could have it differently? I don't know why I thought I could have something with Jack. I... Are all guys the same? Or am I just the problem? No, I know I messed up, but... I have a different... I can't believe it would move on so fast, especially with Polly, of all people. Polly? Really? No, no, that doesn't sound right. Nothing sounds right anymore. Noah, did you at least talk to Phil D'Angelo from the Toledo Sun Journal? Just talk to him, find out if you even want to work with Barry anymore. I don't want to work with Barry anymore. Anil! Mrs. Diamond! Have I, uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Rhodes, have I got some interesting information for you? Turns out that Big Barry is now up to no good in your neighborhood. Now, what I can tell you is I don't have all, uh, well, yeah, 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 that's fine. I can tell, I can call you back later. All right. Can you connect me with Mike Roberts? Call him back. Hear him out. And then see him. He'll be okay. <laughs> He'll be okay. I think. Anil, old friend, yes. Noel's gone. What is going on? Look, uh, it's okay with you. I'd like to get this thing going fast. I mean, I want to get home and see my grandkids by two. I just have to say, Sam, this isn't like you. It usually takes forever for you to get stuff done. I mean, I'm half asleep when you're just halfway done. Yeah, well, thanks a lot. Now look, I just in a rush, all right? Is there a crime in that? And you never go for charities like Green Place. Are you sure this is a home run for the town? Well, it's certainly going to hit it out of the ballpark. 
Uh, speaking of the ballpark, Ray, you want that new Little League field, right? Well, we could use the money. The kids' uniform shouldn't be turning brown. I just got off the phone with Christine Rhodes, and she has another good authority that this land deal is actually headed up by her ex-husband, Big Barry Diamond Properties. Big Barry? He's a jerk. Remember last summer when he came after me with a golf club like Jack Nicholson? We don't want that guy in here. Well, you probably did something to deserve it. You can be a real twit sometimes, Ray. Oh, kiss my butt, son. This is why we don't get together anymore. Mr. Mayor, I did study architecture as an undergraduate in London. Now, maybe it's my imagination, but this Green Place project looks suspiciously like a casino to me. Look, what we're talking about is this crazy Christine, right? She did it. She always makes noises about nothing. No, you don't like her, but she's always been nice to me. No, I enjoy her immensely. She's cool in my book. All right, look, let's just get through this thing. Huh? Let's quit playing around and whistling through the wind. Huh? Let's just go down this thing and get it done so we can get home for Christmas. All right? Hey, it's pretty loud here. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm at the airport in the Cayman Islands. Uh, I can give you a call when I get to the hotel and tell you more. I did want to get back to you. Thanks for inquiring. Just give me about 15 or 20 minutes if you can. Thanks for getting back to me. Yeah, whenever you have the time, that'd be great. like something's weighing really heavy on your heart. Well, Grandpa, I sold the farm to Noel in Green Place, and I did it for a few reasons. I did it because I know that you don't want to keep doing this forever, and I thought I was a way out, and I wanted to not, I wanted to not be stuck here. And I wanted to have the freedom to go and try a few things, and <laughs> try wrestling like, like you used to do. That's a tough life. I found out quick it wasn't for me. And now I just feel like we're out of options. You're smart enough and capable enough, you can do just about anything you want to do. You could be a fisherman, carpenter, financial analyst or tree farmer. It doesn't really matter. What's important is to find something you like. Find a job that you absolutely love doing. Someone a lot smarter than me once said, do a job that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And it's true. That's how I wound up doing the farm. Growing trees and selling Christmas trees. I love what I was doing. Yeah, but how do you find what you love? Well, that's, that can be a bit tough and Tougher if you're focused on something specific. Kind of open your mind. You know, just a lot of times it'll drop right in your lap. You won't even realize it till you find, gee, I love what I'm doing. You can do anything you want. Open your mind and uh, find something that'll make you happy. But I have a funny feeling that's not the only thing that's weighing you. What else is going on? Noel. She lied. It, it's not Green Place. It's actually Diamond Properties. It's Big Barry. He's been trying to buy this place off us for years, and he finally did. Well, and she lied to me, and it hurt. I can't trust her. Sure it did, but have you ever lied before? <laughs> Grandpa, are you kidding me? You know I know the answer to that, so you can't lie. Yes. Yes, sure. I've lied. Did I give you a second chance? And in some cases, a third? Yes. Absolutely. Because I love you. You're my grandson. But Grant, yeah. it's different. That's true. You you can't you can't pick your relatives, but you can pick your friends. And you you find friends that make you happy. And I've seen the way your eyes light up when she walks in the room. She makes you happy. 
And I don't know everything that happened between you folks that has you so upset, but you need to work it out. You need to figure out a way around this. And you need to go after that girl, because I think you folks need to wake up. Noelle. Hey. What are you doing here? I just went for a walk and, are you leaving? Yeah, I figured it was for the best. Jack, I'm sorry about everything that happened. It's okay, here, it is, it's fine. Well, I just wanted to let you know, I've been talking to a reporter and he's gonna, he's gonna expose the berries, so. That's good. Yeah, your farm should be fine. Oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, hey. What's, what's wrong? What, I mean, what's, what about you and Holly? I mean, Holly's my ex. We're done. There's nothing going on between us. But what about last night? I mean, well, what about last night? Well, I was sad at the party. I mean, I saw you two together. You posted it all over social media this morning. That's. Look, there's nothing going on between Holly and I. I swear. Noelle, I like you. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like you too. <laughs> okay, good. Um, so, so, there's nothing that's gonna happened to hit the town hall? No, they can't do anything without my papers. Oh, you got the papers? That's yeah. awesome. We can give them to Barry, and like I said, the reporter, he's gonna call Barry out, so. Noelle, those are all blank. How? No, I had them, I, Todd! Oh, I should have known he wasn't there just to be smug last night. Well, what do we do? Come to meeting. Like? Ten minutes. We gotta go. We gotta go. All right, leave it. Let's go. That's a pretty big turnout we got here. It's good. All right. Um, what the hell is the gavel? Earl, Earl, you got that damn thing. Come on. Let's go. It's about time. This meeting is in order. This meeting of the town council for the town of Clam Neck, Maine is now in session. We will begin with public forum. All right. Anyone have anything? Think? Of course. Ashley, please. Come up. Uh, can we get right to it? You know, I'm sick and tired of you guys dodging the issue. We're not dodging the issue. We just don't really give we a need about the issue. a Maine walk of faith. Ozzy, Bon Jovi, maybe even me. <laughs> well, you are becoming a star here at the town meetings, aren't you? <laughs> For sure. All right, anyone else have anything they want to say before we get to the real issue at hand? Yes. I know, you know, I don't know. I want to bring attention uh, to the toxic runoff that is coming from my neighbor's attempt to become energy independent. What is the town going to do about this? Well, what do you mean by toxic runoff? Huh? There's blue sludge coming down the street. That it's it's blue. That's not good. You called about this. I talked to Todd. It turns out it's just jello. All right, it's just some jello. He was making something for Halloween. Jello doesn't melt grass. I hope this is something new. At least I don't think so. New hat, yeah, yeah. I would like to know from you people what the status is on the border wall. We've got enough Canadians here already. 
We don't need any more. I, and I caught one stealing my pigs. You I, caught a Canadian. The, the people, the good people of Clamnack demand an answer to this problem. The lip service isn't going to get it anymore. All right, all right, what do you need us to do? Huh? How many of us want the wall? Yeah. yeah. The majority. You see, a wall to keep Canadians out. That's all I have. Down to the important issue here at hand. All right. So what we want to talk about is... Uh, well, I guess that concludes the public forum, and we're going to have Todd from Green yes, Place. Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, me and the good people at Green Place, our goal is simple. To provide a future where the economy is booming, much like it was in the 1920s. A future devoid of kids having to worry about where they go to school, where homelessness is decreased, where everybody can really live the lives that they want to. And although some regretful decisions in terms of property damage will have to be made, it is a necessary evil that we're willing to take upon ourselves to provide a better future for everybody else. So this is the future we're talking about. Better schools, better economy, less homelessness, a better future for all, and not just for this city, not just for this state, but eventually we're hoping to reach the entire country. So that's what we're hoping for with Green Place, a better future for all. Oh, couldn't be said better, couldn't be said better. All right, so I think what we should do is put this to a vote right away. It's uh, the, the, the official name is Santa's Playhouse. It's gonna be on site uh, 34 Cottage Road. And uh, look, this thing is good for the family. It's good for the environment. It's going to be, as as Todd said, we're going to bring money into the environment. We're going to, have, if you want to build your wall, you can build your wall with the money that we get. How's that? All right. So let's vote on this thing. All right. Come on. Are you okay? Do you need some more arrow? Okay. Okay. Hold on, Sam. I want to hear what she has to say. Hold on one second. I'll take care of this. Stop this. Come back. Come back with me to the office. We can solve this. You really gonna make me reject you twice, Todd? If that's the game you want to play. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I can explain. Councilman, I'm sorry. This woman has been nothing but a cause of emotional and physical distress to all of us who work at Diamond Properties ever since she started working there. I can only suspect that she's here to boost her own egotistical and attention-seeking ego. You want this meeting to proceed as smoothly as it has already? Remove her and her gentleman friend from the premises as soon as possible. I have been in contact with a reporter who's at Diamond Properties' latest resort in the Cayman Islands, and it's been terrible for locals. You need to at least table this project until you've seen the real plans. Oh, come on, I don't think we can table this right now. No, <laughs> we're not. Look, the reason I know all this is because I was sent here to fool you guys so Jack and Grandpa Chris would sell their farm under false pretenses, but Big Barry and Diamond Properties and Todd aren't interested in sustaining the land. <laughs> what proof do you actually have, Noel? Here's Phil. He'll tell you guys what this company does to local areas. Come on, Phil. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Phil D'Angelo. I'm a reporter for the Toledo Sun Journal. I've been investigating Big Barry's first venture here in the Cayman Islands, and it's called the Island Pearl. As you can see, 
it was an unmitigated disaster. Not only did they not keep to their promises to not build on pristine rainforest areas, they also had pollutants in their building, in which case it infected the local tap water and has had to have been torn down at the taxpayer's expense. Big Barry and his group have since abandoned it, and now it is a big mess for the people of Cayman Islands. My advice to you guys would be, do not have anything to do with this group. They are not a friend to the environment. Thank you. Give me that. All right, look, I think in light of this new information, we really do need to, we need to table this, all right? You did it! <laughs> Time to your job! Fix us, you idiot! Oh, you big bear, diamond. Who are you? I'm Mike Roberts from the EPA. I have a couple questions for you. This guy, Anil, said I could find you here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just waiting for Jack again. We're gonna go out for a walk. We're finally getting some snow over here. I don't know about you. How's your new job? Are your coworkers being nice to you? Are the pets being nice to you? Well, I I'm kind of concerned about the pets because you know they have like claws and teeth and. Okay, you're right, you're right, I'm worrying too much, but I just want to make sure you're okay. Oh, don't be a hypocrite, who do you think I get it from? Yeah, I, I think I see him. I'll call you back, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll let your hypocrite know you said hi. <laughs> Alright, I love you. Bye.